Welcome back, Love Stylers. I'm Misty. Today we're going to be talking about five easy secrets for weight control. You may be on the paleo diet, just watching what you eat, trying to lose a little weight, living a low carb lifestyle, or even on the carnivore diet. Did I mention keto? And all of these things are better choices in your life to try to improve your life. So I, in the last four years, have lost 55 pounds and eight sizes with the combination of the keto and carnivore diets mainly, living a low carb lifestyle. I love my life now. I wanna call this the happy diet. Not every single second of every single day, 100% of the time, am I fully, fully happy. But for the most part, I am happy most of the time. And I'm on a carnivore diet where I eat mostly meat, dairy, and eggs 90% of the time. 10% of the time, I have salad or a little fruit or some honey, or I may have some real pizza or ice cream occasionally. This doesn't make you a bad person. So if it's your first time here today, thank you for spending your time with me. I have a lot of videos. This is like my 107th video, and I've been doing this YouTube channel for two years. Now, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist or a diet expert, but I am great for motivation. So stay tuned if you wanna be inspired today on five things I have picked out to help you keep your weight under control. Because you may have lost weight, and you don't want to gain it back. Please stay tuned for my truth bomb at the end of this video. I've been trying these truth bombs. Let me know if you like them, guys. And I just want to point out, please comment on anything you want to add to the conversation today. Because I love comments, I will answer you, and we need you. So I'm going to start with number five. And I'll count down from five to number one, which is five ingredients or less. So if you must eat a food that is not a single food, and you must eat food that's in some kind of bottle or packaged food, look at the ingredients. First of all, you should kind of know your ingredients by now, but I'm not gonna go on a rant about that. I will say if it has five ingredients or less, a lot of times, the healthy foods, um, usually it's pretty safe. Of course, it depends what those ingredients are. If it's sugar and flour, no, I don't mean that. But the healthier foods, if you're watching this channel, you probably have some good idea about what healthy foods are, low carb foods are. So I'm gonna say five ingredients or less. That is a huge tip. I don't remember from where I got that um, a few years back, but it is definitely very, very helpful when you must buy something in a package. So five ingredients or less is my fifth tip. And maybe you can write these down to help you not forget. Number four tip or secret to having more weight control so you don't gain weight is no packaged foods. Now this kind of goes against number five in a way because we just talked about five ingredients or less. However, that's why it's bumped up to number four because if you can avoid packaged foods altogether, this will make your life so much easier and make dieting so much easier. If you follow these few little rules, and I'm not big on rules, guys, but this will help you so much. So anything in a package means it has to sit on the shelf for a long time, and there are additives preservatives, and ingredients that our body just doesn't know what to do with. And our gut mainly has a problem with this. Leaky gut, I know you guys have heard of leaky gut. Go check out Dr. Berg, he's the best when it comes to leaky gut and explaining it. Um, you don't want to cause leaky gut. You want the microbiome or the condition of your stomach to be in good health. So just to keep it very basic, if you stay away from packaged foods of any type, if you can, then you will be way ahead of the curve on this one. 
So just remember there are ingredients and don't be afraid to look at ingredients if you haven't before. It's kind of scary. I have to admit when I first started looking at ingredients, I was floored by how much crap is in so many things. Even bottled salad dressing, which really threw me for a loop. And check out my video on salad dressing you can make at home with very few ingredients that is not bottled and doesn't have all the crappy oils in there. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet. It is groundbreaking in my opinion. So packaged items, bottled, um, mostly things in a dry package have a lot of flour and emulsifiers, even shredded cheese you have to be careful of because there is cellulose, which has been compared to sawdust, yes, in cheese. So I no longer consume um, shredded cheese in a bag. I used to at first, guys, but this little tweak you can make will make a big difference if you're eating a lot of cheese. So packaged foods, take them off the table. Number three for easy weight control to avoid is soda. Now, I don't wanna keep flashing videos that I have here, but I love the soda video I did over a year ago, kinda of when I was first starting YouTube, and it says it all. So go check out my soda video, and yes, I do mean diet soda also, people. Soda or diet soda are off the table. If you do this one thing, and you don't even listen to most of the stuff that I talk about in this channel, I will tell you this is huge, and I probably should have put it for number one, but it's number three today because I like two and one where they are. So taking soda out of your life is a game changer. I used to drink a ton of ginger ale. I used to drink a ton of Fanta orange soda, and yes, they are delicious but giving these up changed my entire chemistry of my body. There is so much crap in soda and so much poison in soda. And yes, diet soda may even be worse than regular soda. I'm not gonna get into that right now. You gotta check out my video. A lot of people who are dieting, um, they will eat very, very well, and they're sticking on a low-carb plan, but it, when it comes to drinks, and they may have three to four drinks a day, and it may be diet soda three to four times a day, they won't understand why they're not losing weight, or why they've stalled, or why they've even started to gain weight. And I see this so much, it makes me crazy. They'll eat a salad for lunch, they do very well with their eating plan, but they're drinking those sodas and it kills their diet. Please don't make this mistake. Please stop drinking soda. Your new drink should be water. And yes, I approve sparkling water. So, so far sparkling water is still safe for us dieting. So regular flat water is always a better choice. Of course, filtered, do not drink tap water. Um, drink filtered water of some type. And this should be your drink from now on. If you make this one tweak, this will change your life. So soda is off the table as well. No more soda, guys. Not even diet. Number two secret for easy weight control today is avoiding sugar. Altogether, which you probably already know this, it's so damn obvious, mister, no kidding. When we talk about refined sugars, we mean the white stuff. The white stuff that makes you addicted, that tastes so darn good. And we've been eating this stuff since we were kids. And you know, any party you go to, what is the main focus of the party when it comes to food? Sugary things, desserts, sugary drinks. And that brings me to my main problem with it is alcohol, which I'll touch on in a minute. However, sugar is even added to things that don't taste sugary or sweet. When you start reading ingredients, which I hope you have started to do so, you will realize there is sugar in so many savory 
um, items or packaged foods that it's insane. It's like it doesn't even taste sweet. It may even be a little bit salty, but there's sugar in so many things, even cough drops and medicines we take. Um, even vitamins have sugar in them. And that really floored me when I went to take some of those gummy vitamins and I realized that they're loaded with sugar. So start to look at labels if you haven't. Start to see how many things sugar is actually in that you would never expect. It will take you by surprise, but this is all a learning experience for me, for you guys. Let's do this together because, you know, there's a lot to learn. I'm going to include alcohol with the sugar. So alcohol is fermented sugar. And if you are still drinking alcohol, I'm going to just tell you what happened to me. I was addicted to alcohol for probably 25 to 30 years of my life. Now I'm 49, so do the math and realize that fermented sugar, being alcohol, was the most addictive thing I've ever put into my body. So addictive that I had to keep drinking it for going on 30 years a few years back. So I finally had to look at my health and say, you know, drinking all this alcohol, it can't be doing anything good for my body. And yes, having a drink once in a while for those occasions like New Year's Eve, Christmas, or a wedding a couple times a year is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about it's part of your diet. And if you are drinking alcohol a couple times a week or every week, I'm going to say try to pull it back. Try to give it up for good. It's the best thing I ever did was giving up alcohol in my life. My marriage has improved. My weight has improved. My high blood pressure is now gone. And I was able to get off medication for that. And my eczema is at bay. It's not completely gone. But I think the sugar in my life and the fermented sugar in my life being alcohol was a very, very big part of my unhealth which I'm working on clearing now, and I am not perfect, guys. But I do have suspect thoughts about what my liver looks like. Because everything we eat, especially the bad stuff, has to go through our liver. And alcohol just is very, very taxing on the liver. Sugar is also very taxing on the liver. You only really get one liver in this life. I think liver transplants are the hardest things to get. So let's avoid all of that and keep the sugar out of our lives. And my number one secret today to maintain or control your weight so you don't gain weight is eating nutrient dense. And I'm on a 90% carnivore lifestyle and I eat very nutrient dense with mostly meat that I consume dairy and eggs being the basis of my diet and getting high protein in there. Look at the most nutrient dense foods. Now this does not exclude vegetables. Vegetables are also nutrient dense and I don't wanna get the wrong point across. What works for me may be different than what works for you. We're talking about sustainability and not gaining weight today. So eating nutrient dense, whether it's vegetables, whether it's meat, whether it's dairy and eggs and some cheese, these are the more nutrient dense foods. Some of us include bone broth. Bone broth has a lot of nutrients. That's another little secret. And there's plenty of foods out there that are nutrient dense. So eating nutrient dense, whether it's carnivore, whether it's keto, paleo, vegetarian, being a vegan, as long as it's nutrient dense foods. A lot of people like single foods, like some fruit is okay. There are some carbs and fruit, so be careful if you're trying to drop a lot of weight. My truth bomb here at the end, guys, I wanna thank you for tuning in today and listening to Black Eyed Soul. That's our band, my husband and I record right here in this room. Check us out anywhere you find free music. It's not that hard. Um, when you really make these small pivots and then you get used to it after a while, it makes life a lot more enjoyable. And I call this the happy diet. And I'm going to keep going with the 90% carnivore. 
10% keto and other foods diet or way of eating because it's easy to sustain. And that's what this video has been about today is sustaining the weight loss you have already achieved and keeping the weight off and not gaining weight is something to be proud of. And not a lot of people talk about it because it's never fast enough, you know, and it's never enough weight. But keeping the weight off is an art all its own. So thank you for tuning in to Love Style today. We'll see you next time. Peace out.